The last major battle in the northern colonies was almost lost because of the American general Charles Lee's disobedience. This is what happened. While the British army sat snug as a bug in a rug and idle, enjoying the fine life of Philadelphia during the winter of 1777, General Washington's force of 3,500 soldiers were facing the terrible winter of Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, a few miles away. Then came the good news that the Americans were waiting for. General, sir! General, sir! What is it? What is it, young man? The French have decided to help our cause against the British. By spring that year, the hard winter was now over, and with the good news of the French joining us, the American army saw a rush of new recruits quickly building our army to 13,500 soldiers. The British, now fearful of the French aid to America, ordered General Clinton to skedaddle and leave Philadelphia with his 10,000 soldiers and to go quickly to New York City. On June 18, 1778, British General Clinton's army began their long march north through the woods, farmlands, mountains, and across rivers. On the 19th, General Washington sounded the call, assembled his troops, and gave them their orders. Men. I've just received word that General Clinton is retreating to New York City. I am sending General Lee and a fighting force of some of you men that General Steuben has just trained this past winter. Attack them from the rear and go quickly. The rest of us will follow up your rear attack. Tortured by the hot, humid, 100-degree weather, Clinton's soldiers and his 1,500 wagons made slow speed over the soft dirt roads. On June 28th, General Lee caught up to the enemy's rear guard at Monmouth Courthouse, New Jersey. The shooting began and the British turned to attack the Americans. General Lee disobeyed orders to attack and instead ordered a retreat. The British, who at first were losing, went wild when the retreat was ordered and charged the running American soldiers. At this moment, General Washington arrived with the rest of the soldiers and the other dependable generals, Nathaniel Green, Lafayette, and Wayne. Washington's arrival saved the day. He ordered a recharge, and we outfought the best regiments the British Army had until the exhausted Redcoats finally retreated, leaving their dead and wounded prisoners of war. Each side lost about 350 men, but this was the turning point in the revolution which showed the British that the Americans could now fight as well as the British could. As for General Charles Lee's disobedience in Volume 4's Historical Characters of the Revolution, I will tell you more about him and his failure as a general and what happened to him because of disobedience. For now, James 4, 7 says, Submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. One of the major failures of General Charles Lee was that he was not willing to resist the British and attack. In the spiritual realm, Satan has greater ability to fight against us if we let him. But if we resist him, he will flee. Don't allow him to fool you into believing that you've got to fall into sin and like evil things. Resist the thoughts and don't retreat. The best way to overcome sin is to attack first. One student I spoke to attacked rock music by throwing away over a hundred dollars worth of demonic music. He resisted and won the victory.